Event photographers, welcome to another video in a series in which I answer commonly asked questions on Google about event photography. Today, we're going to answer the question, how to price event photography. I've given advice on this on my channel before. This is my own opinion, but I think you charge what you can get. The idea that there is a going rate or that there is a way to itemize your time and that's what you should charge, I think is really inaccurate. You charge ultimately what you get. You have to remember, you're not in a vacuum. There are other photographers and there is somewhat of a going rate and you need to price yourself relative to that rate. If you're just starting out, Obviously, you need to price yourself a little bit below that going rate and work your way up. The way you know when to work up is based off how much work you're getting. So in the start, charge low, see how you do. If you start booking more than you can handle, charge more. And you keep doing that. You just keep raising your, your rate until you find that your price is now outpricing yourself and you're not able to book as many jobs, and then you can pull it back if you have to. In Los Angeles, I would say for a top tier event photographer at the lowest end, maybe 150, but the going rate is about 200. I personally charge 250. Um, I have found that I am able to get that, but I add value to my service. For example, in that rate, I include, not only do I include also, of course, um, basic usage rights, etc., but I also include same day editing. Uh, this works really well for me because then I don't have to do the edit because I actually hire an assistant. She gets to work, I get to work less, the client gets uh, photos faster, everyone is happy. But I would say the going rate is about 200. I've found some outliers where people are asking closer to 350 per hour. If they're getting that, great, good for them. I do doubt it if I'm honest and I think the reason I find these people asking for 350 an hour or more is because they're not really shooting events as their main bread and butter. It's easy for me if I don't shoot weddings to be able to say I charge 15 grand for a wedding. It's another way of saying I don't really shoot weddings and that may be what they're doing or maybe they do book for that amount. Good for them if they do. But again, going rates about 200. So pricing ultimately will come down to doing your research, figuring out what other photographers charge, figure out what the going rate is, finding where you feel you are in where you are in position versus like the photographers charging that. If you're just starting out, you should price lower. If you're definitely better than the average, maybe you can charge a little bit more. And that's that. That's how you price your event photography. All right. See you guys in the next video. I will keep these coming. If you want more event photography content, like and subscribe. Also, I have a resource page I talk about a lot now. It's on my website, you can check it out. Go to resources and there's a whole page devoted to event photographers learning the craft. I got distracted, there was something out the window. All right, see you guys in the next one.